Are you having issues with your F9 or F8.9 front instrumental display for your Tesla Model Y or 3? The reason is Tesla recently updated their firmware to 2024.14 or 2024.20. This will affect the F9 and F8.9 display. In order to troubleshoot this, all you need to do is update the software of these display. You can either use a jump drive, but the easiest way is over the air update using your iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, go ahead and go to settings, go to general, under general, you will go to about or name of the device. You need to change the name of the device to car so under general click on about and under about change the name to car all lowercase c a r that is it you can change this name after the update but for now for this update you need to change the name of this device after you update the name go back to general and go back to setting look for hotspot so personal hotspot, toggle it on and off, and then change the password to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is very important. Make sure you change the password to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After that, go back onto the display. Under settings within the display by swiping down, you want to click on over the air update. And make sure you select the last cam on and click on download but the download icon is gray out the trick to getting this icon light up is to connect this device to your iphone all you need to do is go back to your iphone toggle on and off the hotspot so by toggling off and then when you toggle back on the personal hotspot leave it on and the display itself will connect to the iphone Using the iPhone data, now the icon to download lights up. Click on that. It downloads. It takes a few minutes to reboot. Don't worry. Once it reboots, you have the latest firmware update. And now the display works nominally. So that is how you update the firmware and software of this display, the F9 and 8.9, using over-the-air update. If you want to update this using a jump drive, you download the app on the actual computer itself. Go to description of this video. Just expand on the description. There's a link to the file to download. Save it on this jump drive or a jump drive that has USB-C. And once you save it on this jump drive, take it from the computer bring it back to the vehicle and on the display itself behind the actual screen there is a USB-C connector so you just plug in this USB once you plug this in the device itself will automatically update and again it takes a few minutes for it to reboot and you have the latest firmware update but we do recommend you using over there update as that is the quickest way and the easiest way to get this software updated for your F9 and F8.9. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time. Remember to subscribe.